Hi, in this video, we're going to see how to solve non-factorable quadratic inequalities. Okay, let us consider a quadratic inequality that is 2x squared, positive 3x, positive 5, which is greater than 0. Okay, this quadratic expression is non-factorable. So, how to solve this one? So, whenever we get a non-factorable quadratic inequality, first we have to write the corresponding quadratic function. That is, y is equal to 2x square, positive 3x, positive 5. Okay, now we have to find the two zeros of this quadratic function. So, to get two zeros of this quadratic function, you have to plug in y is equal to 0. Then, we will be getting a quadratic equation 2x square, positive 3x, positive 5 equals to 0. Okay, so now uh, we have to check uh, whether there is solution for this quadratic equation or not. For that, we have to compare this quadratic equation and the standard form of standard form of a quadratic equation that is ax square positive bx positive c is equal to zero. So when we compare these two, we get a is equal to two, b is equal to three, and c is equal to five. Okay, to check whether we have solution for this quadratic equation, let's find the value of the discriminant, which is b square negative four ac. So the value of b is 3, which is 3 square, negative 4 times a is 2, and c is 5. So 3 square is 9, and 4 times 2 times 5 is 40, which is equal to negative 31. So this is less than 0. Since the value of the discriminant b square negative 4 is, is less than 0, this quadratic equation has no solution. That means the quadratic function has no zeros. That means the curve represented by this quadratic function will never intersect x-axis. We already know uh, the curve of any quadratic function will be a parabola. So this parabola will never intersect x-axis because it has no zeros. And one more thing is the leading coefficient is 2, uh, particularly it is positive 2. Whenever the leading coefficient is positive 2, the parabola opens up. So the parabola opens up and also it never intersects x-axis. So the parabola may be like this, okay? And one more thing is uh, like uh, we have a quadratic function that is y is equal to 2x squared positive 3x positive 5. So since this quadratic expression is equal to y, we can write the given quadratic inequality as y greater than 0 because this quadratic expression is equal to y. Okay, now if you consider the parabola over here, uh, it's uh, it opens up because the leading coefficient is positive, and also since the quadratic function has no zeros, it does not intersect x-axis. So the parabola opens up, and also it is above the x-axis. If you consider any point on this parabola, the y-coordinate is positive. So on any point, uh, since the y-coordinate is positive, this can be accepted. So the solution is all real values. If you take any point, so that means for any real value of x, y is always positive on the parabola. So the solution for this quadratic inequality is all real values. Let's look at another example. Consider the quadratic inequality negative x square, positive 5x, negative 7, less than 0. Here we can write the, and also it is, uh, non-factorable quadratic expression. So we can write the corresponding quadratic function that is y is equal to negative x squared, uh, positive 5x and negative 7. Since uh, y is equal to this quadratic expression, we can write uh, the quadratic inequality as y less than zero because this expression is equal to y. Okay, now uh, we should be trying to get uh, the two zeros of this quadratic function. For that, you have to plug in y is equal to zero. Then we'll be getting a quadratic equation, negative x square, positive 5x, negative 7 equals to zero. Okay, so now we can compare uh, this one and a standard form of a quadratic equation, which is ax square, positive bx, positive c is equal to zero. We get a is equal to negative one and b is equal to five, c is equal to negative seven. So to check whether we have solution for this quadratic equation, we can find the value of the discriminant, which is b square, negative 4dc. So b is 5 square, negative 4 times a is negative 1 and c is negative 7. So 25 
negative times negative become positive, positive times negative become negative. 4 times 7 is 4, 4 times 7 is 28. Finally, it results in negative number. So that is negative 3, which is less than 0. Since the value of this discriminant is less than 0, this quadratic equation has no solution. That is, the quadratic uh, function has no zeros. So if a quadratic function has no zeros, the quadratic function never intersect x-axis. And also, the leading coefficient is negative 1. Because we just have a negative sign, we can assume 1 over here. So the leading coefficient is negative 1. Since the leading coefficient is negative 1, this parabola opens down and also does not intersect x-axis. So the parabola opens down and also it should not intersect x-axis because this quadratic function has no zeros. So clearly, uh, if you consider any point on this parabola, the y value is negative because this parabola is below the x-axis. So for any real value of x, the y value is negative. So this result can be accepted. That is y less than 0. That is what we got from uh, the given quadratic inequality is accepted. y is less than 0. So for any real, whatever real value we plug in for x uh, into this quadratic function, y will be less than 0. So the solution for this quadratic inequality is all real values. Let's look at another example. x square negative 2x negative 1 greater than 0. Okay, here uh, it's a non-factorable quadratic expression we have. So we have to write the corresponding quadratic function, which is y is equal to x square negative 2x negative 1. Now, we should be trying to get uh, the two zeros of this quadratic uh, function. For that, we have to plug in y is equal to 0. Then we'll be getting a quadratic equation x squared negative 2x negative 1 is equal to 0. So here a is equal to 1 and b is equal to negative 2 and c is equal to negative 1. So let's find the value of the discriminant b square negative 4 dac, which is equal to negative 2 the whole square negative 4 times the value of a is 1, c is negative 1. So negative 2 the whole square is positive 4, negative times negative will become positive. 4 times 1 is 4, again 4 times 1 is 4, finally we get 8 which is greater than 0. Since the value of this discriminant uh, is greater than 0, the quadratic equation has two real solutions. So, but it's uh, non-factorable uh, x square negative 2 x negative 1. So, whenever we want to solve a non-factorable quadratic equation, we have this quadratic equation that is um, x is equal to negative b positive or negative square root of b square negative 4ac over 2a. So we get negative, uh, the value of b is uh, negative 2, positive or negative b square means it's negative 2 the whole square negative 4 times the value of a is 1 and the value of c is negative 1 over 2a. It is 2 times uh, 1. So x is equal to negative times negative become positive and uh, 4 plus 4 over 2, only we get 2 positive or negative square root of 8 over 2, which is equal to 2 positive or negative. 8 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 over 2. And in the next step, it will be 2 positive or negative 2 square root of 2 over 2. And uh, here, 2 can be factored out. Then we get 2 times 1 positive or negative square root of 2 over 2, this 2, 2 will cancel out. x is equal to 1 positive or negative square root of 2. And we know the approximate value of square root of 2 is 1.4. So, and also we can write uh, this one as 1 negative square root of 2, comma 1 positive square root of 2. That is, we have two values for x. So, when you take approximate value for uh, square root of 2, which is 1.4, then I get 1, cup, 1 negative 1.4, comma 1 positive 1.4. We get negative uh, 0 0.4 and here 2.4. So these are the two values we get for x and both of them are real numbers. Okay, now what we can do is we can mark these two real numbers on the number line. Negative infinity comma negative 0 0.4 and 2.4 comma positive infinity. Okay, now we can choose a random value in this uh, first interval. That is negative infinity comma negative 0 
and the second interval is negative 0 0.4 comma 2.4 and the third interval is uh, 2.4 comma positive infinity. Let's take a random value, the first interval between negative infinity and negative 0 0.4. I think we can take uh, negative 1. So now we have to plug in this value negative 1 uh, into the given inequality and check uh, whether this value satisfies the given inequality. So the given inequality is x square negative 2x negative 1 greater than 0. When I plug in negative 1 into this x, it will be negative 1 the whole square, negative 2 times negative 1, negative 1 greater than 0, 1 positive 2, negative 1 greater than 0. And uh, we get 3, negative 1 greater than 0, 2 greater than 0. This is true. So the value we get uh, from the first interval satisfies the given inequality. So the first interval can be accepted as a solution. Okay, now let's check a random value. Uh, the second interval that is between negative 0 0.4 comma 2.4. So obviously it's 0. So now we plug in the value 0 into the given inequality and check whether the value 0 satisfies the given inequality. So 0, negative 2 times 0 will be 0, negative 1 greater than 0. Finally, we get negative 1 greater than 0. It's false because negative value can never be greater than 0. The second interval does not satisfy the given inequality. And now let's check a random value in the third interval. For example, just take 3. Now we have to plug in this value 3 uh, into the given inequality. So the given inequality is x square negative 2x negative 1 greater than 0. When I plug in 3 for x, it will be 3 square negative 2 times 3 negative 1 greater than 0. 9 negative 6 negative 1 greater than 0. Finally, we get 2 greater than 0 can be accepted. So because 2 is a possible, it's greater than 0. So the third interval also works. So the solution uh, for the given inequality is going to be negative infinity comma negative 0 0.4 union 2.4 comma positive infinity. Otherwise, we can write the solution as negative infinity comma uh, the value which is equal to negative uh, 0 0.4 is 1 negative square root of 2 union and the value which is equal to 2.4 is 1 positive square root of 2 comma positive infinity. Okay, now uh, let's look at another example. Consider the quadratic inequality 3x square positive 5x positive 6 less than 0. Here we are, uh, it's a non-factorable quadratic expression so we can write the corresponding quadratic function that is y is equal to 3x square positive 5x positive 6 then the given, given quadratic inequality can be written as y less than 0 because this quadratic expression is equal to y. So it's y less than 0. Now we should be trying to get the two zeros of this quadratic function. So we can write this one as a quadratic uh, equation. That is, we have to substitute y is equal to 0. Then we get the quadratic equation 3x square positive 5x positive 6 is equal to 0. Okay, let's check whether we have a solution for this quadratic equation. So we get a is equal to b. Sorry, a is equal to 3 b is equal to 5 and c is equal to 6. Okay, let's find the value of the discriminant which is b square negative 4ac. b square negative 4ac like a b is equal to 5 square. I mean b is equal to 5. b square means it's 5 square. 4 times a is 3 and c is 6. So 25 negative uh, 4 times c is 12. 12 times uh, 6 is uh, 72 and which is equal to negative uh, 47, which is less than 0. Since the value of this discriminant b square minus 4ac is less than 0, this quadratic equation has no solution. That means the quadratic function has no zeros. Since the quadratic function has no zeros, it will never intersect x-axis. And also the leading coefficient is 3, that is positive. So the parabola opens up. The parabola represented by this quadratic function opens up and it never intersects x-axis. So then we'll have a quadratic, uh, and we'll have, then we'll have the parabola like this. It opens up and it does not intersect x-axis. If you consider any point in this parabola, y value is positive because the parabola is above the x-axis. So in all the points above x-axis, y will be greater than zero. But from the given quadratic uh, inequality, we get y less than zero, it cannot be accepted.
So this quadratic inequality has no solution because from the parabola, we get y greater than zero. From the given quadratic inequality, we get y less than zero. So y less than zero is not true. So this uh, quadratic inequality has no solution. Let's look at another example. Consider the quadratic inequality negative x square, positive 5x, negative 8, uh, greater than 0. Okay, so this is a non-factorable quadratic expression. So what we can do is we can write the corresponding quadratic function, which is y is equal to negative x square, positive 5x, negative 8. Here, uh, let's try to get uh, two zeros for this um, quadratic function as we have done in the previous uh, problems. So we get a quadratic equation, negative x square, positive 5x, negative 8 is equal to 0. Then we get a is equal to negative 1, and b is equal to 5, c is equal to negative 8. So b square negative 4ac is equal to 5 square negative 4 times negative 1, and c is negative 8. 25 negative times negative will become positive, positive times negative will become negative, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 8 is 32, finally it results negative 7, so less than 0. Since the discriminant uh, b square negative 4 is, is less than 0, this quadratic equation has no solution, that is the quadratic function has no zeros. That is uh, the quadratic, uh, I mean the parabola represented by this quadratic function will never intersect x-axis. And the leading coefficient is negative 1, so the parabola opens down. So the parabola represented by this quadratic function opens down and also it never intersects x-axis. So we may have a parabola like this. In all these points, the y value will be negative because the parabola is below the x-axis. If you consider any point below the x-axis, the y point will be 0. But uh, when you go to the given quadratic inequality, uh, we get y greater than 0. Because this expression is equal to y, so from the given quadratic inequality, we can write y greater than 0. But if you consider the parabola, all the y values are negative because the parabola is below the x-axis. All the y values are less than 0. But here we get y greater than 0, it cannot be accepted. So this quadratic inequality has no solution. I think uh, this video helps you a lot to understand how to solve quadratic inequalities uh, where the quadratic expression is non-factorable. Thank you.